Hi, I am Antoine Cousot and I'm, I'm sailing around the world using the, the 1960s equipment and uh, also fundraising for the Open University to help uh, give students for the opportunity to, to earn their, their OU education. The race is unique first because it's a, it's a jubilee, it's a 50 years anniversary of, a, of one of the major race, solo race around the world. It's a unique opportunity to, you know, to go back in time. Now the boats are almost flying and uh, it's, 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 they are very, very strong value in showing people what used to be sailing before and the, the, the human part of it. Um, so why am I doing that? Um, I used to be a, a professional skipper and this is the, this is the achievement, you know, it's, this is the ultimate experience you can get when you are a skipper, so that's one good reason. Um, and then it's a, it's a personal challenge, uh, spending eight months at sea, it's also quite unique. Uh, if you go to space, if you go to the desert, I don't know, if you're a monk maybe, uh, spending that much time on your own, it's, it's a real challenge, so I like the idea as well. It's not a one week regatta, you know, it's, it's an eight months regatta around the world, so it's amazing, it's very exciting to do that. The first time I heard about the OU, it was uh, during a, an Atlantic crossing. So I was sailing already, and um, I was a, I was a, the skipper, um, and we were going from France to the West Indies, somewhere in Tortola, I think. And I had uh, a guy on board, and uh, every day he was taking some book, you know, and reading, and uh, and we started to talk, and he said, "Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a course with the Open University. It's distance le distance learning, and uh, I'm doing oceanography." Uh, right now. I said, wow. And uh, I started to, you know, to look at the book and say, hmm, very interesting. And, um, and when, I, when we got back, uh, I just jumped on the web, you know, bruising uh, Open University, what is that? And, uh, you know, I, I, I left school very early, you know, with no certificate, nothing. And so I found it was the right time to do something about education. Um, and when uh, I went through the, the, the Open University, what the, they were offering, the tools, the, the, how easy it was just to jump into education. It, I, j I just sign in, you know, I say, why, why not? It, maybe it's the right time for me. They got the right tool, it's the right time. Uh, why not, you know? Uh, when I realized it was possible to go back to school and, uh, and, and follow the, the courses with the OU while I was working, you know, around the planet, you know, and, uh, sailing and uh, it sparked something in my in my mind, and uh, and then I, I've done my, I've done my bachelor, I've done my master, you know, and uh, and I was ready to jump onto the, the, the PhD, but the Golden Globe place uh, arise, and so I say, oh, I can't do both, so I do the PhD after. <laughs> so I, I'm not only uh, fundraising, not only trying to, to raise money, uh, I'm also uh, collecting samples during this, uh, this is race around the world. And all the, those uh, samples will help the ongoing research, which is good. But on top of that, the research will feed back the ongoing teaching. So we're kind of a loop. So I'll be collecting uh, plastic samples uh, actually at sea because it's very difficult, very costly to go down in the Southern Ocean, for example, to find, to find out if there is any plastic because it's a bit the missing link. We know there are plastic almost everywhere on the planet, on the ocean, but we don't know much about the Southern Ocean because, as I said, it's very expensive to go there and there's not so many boats uh, able to, to go there and doing proper research. Uh, with our small and tiny boats, we have time. Even if we are racing, I still have time. I'm not doing 20 knots. Um, so I still have time to get samples and uh, label it and document all this uh, research uh, project, which is uh, which is good, and uh, and it's the same for pollen. We'll be collecting pollen, uh, so this is flying around <laughs> around us. But uh, it's a good way also to see if I can find some in a different place in, on the Earth where you couldn't imagine there's pollen. So it's a good way to see the the, the overall distribution of, of pollen around the world, and uh, and I hope it will help in the, in the current uh, research. So while I'm racing. Uh, you will be able, able to follow uh, uh, the ongoing activity with the OU 
uh, uh, linked to the ocean studies, uh, linked to the, the, the pollen I will be collected. The money I'm raising is, is definitely not for me. I've got sponsors. But the money is maybe for you, if you're watching that, uh, to go to school and, uh, and to have uh, education, which is very important. The OU has, has definitely changed my life. Um, with education, there's a lot of opportunities that, you know, open to you. Um, it gives you more confidence and uh, more self-esteem, which is rather important. If you believe in you, cracky, you can, you can do everything in life. You can even do around the world without equipment. Um, Education is not only something you do when you're age 12 to 18. It's, it's, it's an it's a ongoing process for all your life. And uh, I think the, the OU has the right tools, you know, to help people. That's why when we got in contact with the OU uh, two years ago, and uh, it, it, was, it was obvious for me, I say, I want to give it back. Please donate to the Antoine Cousot Scholarship Fund. This phone will help change life through education.